Hello everybody, welcome back to our uh, NEAT MBS 2021 recall series. So in this series, we are going to see a question from principles of cavity preparation from the subject conservative dentistry. As we know, they have declared NEAT MDS 2022 exam date. I think it is now very important to look back into the questions which have appeared last year for better preparation. So let's just dive into the question. The question was like converging walls during cavity preparation provides options were option a outline form retention form convenience form and resistance form so for this question you need to know what are the stages of tooth preparation that we use so we have initial tooth preparation stage and a final tooth preparation stage so i know i i think uh, all of you know about this uh, pretty much so in initial tooth preparation stage we have four steps that is outline form and initial depth primary resistance form primary retention form and convenience form in final tooth preparation stage we have five steps that is removal of any remaining infected dentin or old restorative material if indicated pulp protection if indicated secondary resistance and retention forms procedures for finishing external walls and final procedures which are cleaning, inspecting, and desensitizing. In this video, we'll uh, look uh, a gist of uh, initial tooth preparation stages because uh, these, were, these were the only options that they have given in the question. So, coming to the outline form and initial depth, it is nothing but placing preparation margins in positions that they will occupy in final preparation. So, the position margins is the same as that they occupy in final preparation except for finishing enamel walls and margins so preparing an initial depth of 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 m pulpally of dej position or 0.8 mm pulpally to normal root surface position so in this image you can observe the dg depth so this is the dentino enamel junction dentino enamel junction and uh, sorry this is the dentino enamel junction and these are the prepared cavity walls okay so they have prepared a 0.5 mm depth of the cavity wall from dentino enamel junction so, okay so this is what they have prepared so this will be you can either prepare it like this or you can also prepare this uh, floor of the cavity wall like 0.8 mm pulpally to normal root surface position. So normal root surface position is this. So 0.8 mm pulpally from here. Okay, you can also prepare that. Then coming to primary resistance form. So it is nothing but shape and placement of walls that best enable the remaining tooth structure and restorative material to withstand without fracture masticatory forces delivered principally along long axis of tooth. So shape and placement of preparation walls so that they will enable the remaining tooth structure and restoration to withstand the stresses. Okay to withstand the stresses without fracture when the masticatory forces are delivered principally along long axis of tooth. So the principles which we follow in to obtain a primary resistance form is horizontal floors, buccal extension, buccolingual extensions, rounded line angles, cusp capping, restorative material thickness and bonding to the tooth bonding to the tooth is the other restorative material bonding to the tooth okay so these are the important principles that we follow to obtain a ideal primary resistance form in a tooth preparation then coming to primary retention form so the primary retention form is nothing but shape or form of conventional prevention preparation that prevents displacement or removal of restoration by tipping or lifting forces when remember one thing when they give it as a masticatory forces from masticatory forces then it indicates it is they are talking about resistance 
okay so when they are giving tipping or lifting forces for non bonded restorations they are talking about retention okay so let us uh, look at what all we do for different uh, kinds of uh, restorative materials that we use so for amalgam class 1 and class 2 we use occlusally converging external walls and occlusal dovetail so dovetail i think uh, most of you know right something that comes like this right so this is a dovetail and occlusally converging walls so the walls of the tooth preparation will be like this so they will be occlusally converging then for amalgam class 3 and 5 retention grooves or coves are placed and for composite it is uh, by mechanical bonding using acid etching and dentin bonding system so dbs is nothing but dentin bonding system then cast metal inlay for cast metal inlay we use parallel longitudinal walls or 2 to 5 degree small angular divergence okay so this is what we use for different uh, restorative materials to obtain primary retention form convenience form convenience form is nothing but shape or form of preparation that provides adequate observation accessibility and ease of prop operation in preparing and restoring the tooth okay so what what is it like we have to prepare a cavity walls in such a way that we'll get adequate observation and accessibility and ease of operation so ease of operation is when we are placing the cement and the restorative material in the tooth okay that coming back to our question converging walls during cavity preparation provides so we have seen that in primary retention form okay in primary retention form when we are using amalgam restoration for class 1 and 2 uh, we prepare converging walls and occlusal dovetail right so this is what we have seen in the video now so this is the main important thing which we need to keep in our minds so i think uh, most of you know that because we prepare many cavity preparations uh, for amalgam cavity preparations during our class uh, uh, second year uh, conservative dentistry uh, practicals right so then only we will see about this uh, and uh, we try to prepare converging walls for class 1 and class 2 so the uh, answer for this question is retention form okay If you like our video, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Instagram at Dokshala for dental content and at Dokshala Medical for medical content. You can also find us on Telegram. Thank you and see you again in the next video.